Hi everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to take you through the essentials of electrophilic addition using bromine and this simple alkene of ethene. Before we can start putting curly arrows on things, our bromine molecule needs a dipole because it's naturally a non-polar molecule. The dipole on the bromine molecule is induced by the high electron density between the two carbons in the double bond. Once this dipole has been established, the double bond is able to reach out with its first curly arrow, which remember shows the movement of an electron pair, to attack that bromine. One of the two carbons from the original double bond now is going to make a bond to this bromine atom that's been attacked in the bromine molecule. Since the bromine that had the delta positive partial charge is now going to be bonded to one of the carbons in the original organic molecule, the other bromine with the delta minus charge is able to take the electrons here from this bond as it breaks heterolytically to create a bromide ion. It's quite difficult to show all of these stages happening in one step using the Molly Mod kit, but hopefully you get the idea that this all happens at once to create these two intermediates. I'm almost done here drawing my two intermediates, but I'm missing one important thing. This carbon atom here is only bonded three times, and due to the movement of electrons in the first stage of this mechanism, it's been left with a positive charge. Therefore, it's called a carbocation. What happens next is the lone pair from the bromide ion attacks this carbocation, and we demonstrate this with the movement of a curly arrow. Our final product is our target molecule. It's a 1,2-dibromoethane. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Click the links on screen now to see more of our work in organic chemistry for module four of the OCRA specification. Until next time, happy revising.